Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. Jamie comes in with a question about a pre-built. And it is, he's got 8700K and a 1080, but he wants a 3070 and the new egg system, there's one going for $1,900. It's a 10700KF with a 3070 and he wants to know if it sounds good. Well, an i7 8700K is still a great CPU. And if graphics cards were available for even somewhat reasonable prices, I might be inclined to tell you, unless you're a premium user with a lot of multitasking or you're live streaming AAA games, just buy a 3070 and drop it in. But since we are recording this in May of 2021, I'm willing to bet that the issue is you can't just buy a 3070. And so the only sensible option seems to be buy a pre-built computer and sell your old computer and be done with it. I actually don't have a problem with that idea, but I do want to give a caveat because here's the kicker. We'll just round it to two grand because we'll tax whatever. It's, it's $2,000. $2,000 for an i7 10700KF that is eight cores and 16 threads versus the six cores he has now. Now that's a nice improvement, but it's not a mind blowing improvement. Funny story, true story. I made that upgrade at home. My personal machine at home was the $2,000 Cadillac build done on this channel in 2017 that had an i7-8700K. That particular machine had a 1080Ti. His machine has a 1080. Okay. Same ballpark, the 1080Ti is a little faster, but similar concept. He did something very similar to what I did several years ago. Yep. Last year in 2020, I replaced that machine with an i9-9900K, eight core, 16 threads, which is basically the exact same thing as a 10700KF. They're both eight core, 16 threads. There's no IPC improvement. The clock speeds are the same. It's essentially the same CPU. I had a 2070 Super that I put in there, which is about the performance of a 1080Ti and a little bit faster than his 1080. Mm -hmm. And the 2070 Super was great until I tried to play Cyberpunk. <laughs> and then it was pretty crap. <laughs> it was terrible. Disclaimer, I have a 34 inch 1440p ultra wide, which is 5 million pixels. Yep. It is 2.5 times 1080p. So if you've got that computer on a 1080p monitor, you have to keep in mind this advice isn't gonna necessarily apply. Okay. But if you're gonna spend $2,000 on a computer and go to a 30 series, Hopefully you're at 1440p and not 1080p at this point because it's worth... 4K is expensive and difficult. It is. 1080p is very entry level now. I, 1440p is the sweet spot. It's worth the... And you can now get those for under $500. You can. A 34-inch 1440p ultra-wide, 100 hertz refresh rate, 400 bucks. There's several models to pick from at that price point. So it's reasonable. So I upgraded my 2070 Super to a 3070, exactly what Jamie is asking about. Eight core, 16 threads, 3070. And I've got a lot, I had 32 gigs of RAM. I actually upgraded to 64 because I multitask. Mm -hmm. You would think at 1440p, that would play Cyberpunk great. How about no? Now at medium detail, with DLSS cranked up to performance mode, it was okay at 40-ish frames per second. That's, no. 40? That is why we replaced my 3070 with a 3090. For all of you watching thinking, well, that's just silly for 1440p. I have a 100 hertz, 1440p ultra wide and a 3090 with DLSS and ray tracing on does not maintain 100 frames per second. 60 to 70. Now, I am running with the details cranked up. You are. And a 3090 is faster at ultra than a 3070 is at medium. And I want everybody to hear that point. Now, I know, but okay, before you all yell and say, yeah, but that's cyberpunk. I don't want to play cyberpunk. That's the canary in the coal mine that is telling you about the future. That is where game's going. Watch Dogs Legion, The Medium, the upcoming Battlefield 6. 
this is where the industry is going. Whether or not you want to play cyberpunk, it's the game that should be giving you a heads up that you're... How many times have you seen benchmarks on games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider and Division 2 and all these other... Uh, Assassin's Creed. You know all those games are running on two to three-year-old engines? Yeah, exactly. They're, you're testing several years old games on the new hardware going, yeah, see, a 3070 is great. You got to play yesterday's game. So before you go and spend $2,000 on a 3070 pre-built, what do you want to play? What resolution? And how long do you want it to last? And what's your expectation? Because a 3080 and a 3090 is more expensive. The 3080 pre uh, the 3080 pre-built on Newegg right now, at least at the time we're recording this, is twenty eight hundred dollars. The 3090 pre-built is a lot more, but it comes with an i nine and and it's the ten core chip and it has more RAM and everything else. Uh, but it's thirty seven hundred dollars. But considering that 30, 3080s are selling on eBay for twenty two to twenty four hundred dollars, twenty seven hundred. For a 3080 pre-built is not nuts. No, five hundred dollars for the rest of it. Thirty nineties are commanding three plus grand. The good ones. The good ones are in the thirty-two to thirty-three hundred range now. That's nuts. Thirty-seven hundred for a pre-built with a 3090 with tw oh by the way, 1440p Cyberpunk uses 12 gigs of VRAM. My biggest issue with the 3080. It's the 10 gigs of VRAM. Yeah. I would be inclined, and we did. we did. We have two 3090s, and we did this for that reason. Because I looked at the 3080, and I looked at the 10 gigs of VRAM, and I'm like, no. I don't want to have to go, okay, ultra here, high detail, textures to medium to make it fit. And I don't want to buy a video card that's going to last me 12 months, and then, oh, crap, now i got to shop for another video card again. I, I would like to get a couple of years out of these things. So screw it. We bought a 3090. We did. Which is expensive. It is. Welcome to 2021. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.